The next theory is deprival superreaction. And deprival superreaction is basically confusing what is near to what matters in terms of a loss. So what happens in the short term, what happens right now, I focus on more than the long term or the big picture. So if a millionaire loses $100 from a wallet, he may very well have an extreme reaction. Where's my money? What happened? Oh, this is wrong. I can't believe I lost that money. Where did it go? And have a significant sense of loss. But why is there an extreme reaction? You're a millionaire. $100 doesn't make any difference to you. But it's so important to not have that loss or that mistake stake and so we have a uh, super reaction to it. Uh, one story uh, that I want to bring you to your attention is a um, is a, a billionaire uh, in um, Germany named Adolf Merkel. He was worth I believe 12.4 billion dollars at the peak in 2008 and he ran into some trouble. He shorted some Volkswagen shares and a few other things and it went against him and he started losing money and he dropped his net worth uh, to um, uh, 9.2 billion and lost 3.6 uh, billion, and he was one of the top 100 richest men in the world. And of course, losing three billion dollars, he knocked himself out of the top 100. Which, oh gosh, that's horrible uh, to you and me. But of course, this was a big deal to him. Uh, and so, what he did because he was losing uh, money and was no longer one of the top 100 people, uh, richest people in the world, he killed himself. He threw himself in front of a train. This is an unbelievable example of deprival super reaction. Something that I had, I don't have anymore. I've made mistakes. I can't live with the fact that I've made mistakes. This obviously ties into other theories as well. And one commentator said that the reason that he threw himself in front of uh, the train in near his hometown uh, was that his son Ludwig uh, was required to step down as a director as a condition of a bridge loan that they were negotiating. And so it was not only embarrassing for him, but the, oh, the tragedy of my son stepping down from a, a, a director position in a company was too much for him to bear. He couldn't take it anymore. And even though he had a still well over a billion dollars in net worth where he could do just about any he wanted with his life, uh, he decided to throw it away and jump in front of a train. That's incredibly stupid. Yet, it happens. So we have an overreaction in many cases in our life to even what looks like a small uh, loss. So uh, for example, if you go to the internet, or excuse me, if you go to a hotel and they ask you to pay for the internet, sometimes that can uh, throw you off or if you have to pay for a newspaper or so on, that fee can make you mad, even though your hotel room may be a couple hundred dollars, uh, and they add for $10 for the internet. That seems ridiculous. Why am I paying for the internet? I'm already paying for the hotel room. And of course, we have a reaction to that. Um, the other thing, uh, if you think about it, is like a dog protecting its food. People protect their ideas. This ties into inconsistency avoidance. So uh, we do not want our ideas uh, to be taken. We hate that. Uh, and so we uh, protect them. And we have a reaction when they're uh, taken or uh, copied in any way. Of course, the antidote uh, is courtesy. Uh, despite ideological differences. So we think about uh, how to avoid super reactions is to, uh, to be courteous and uh, not get into ideological fights uh, because people will protect their ideas. They will protect what they believe in because obviously this ties into um, inconsistency avoidance and all of the other uh, tendencies that we have to uh, avoid cognitive dissonance. We have to be right. We feel we need to be right. Therefore, we get very upset about it. It also ties into our ability to win at auctions. Uh, we'll talk about the winner's curse in another section. Uh, but the um, uh, the idea here is that we don't like uh, any of our things to go wrong, even though they don't matter. And so we have this super reaction to them. And in one case, the super reaction was uh, to literally uh, be on top of the world. From everybody else's perspective, you're on top of the world. You're a billionaire. Uh, you've got uh, all of the world at your feet. And you've decided to kill yourself because you're not a, as much of a billionaire as you were yesterday. And your son can't do what he wants to do. And you've lost uh, face or you've lost ego and uh, you can't live with that and that's ridiculous so Adolf Merkel 
uh, made a mistake. He was 74 years old and uh, man managed to create an empire and then throw himself in front of a train. So super reaction is something that we don't mess with. We want to be aware of it. We want to uh, not push people into this situation. And we want to make sure that when we're making decisions uh, that we recognize that anybody losing uh, anything in a situation is going to uh, react. And in some cases, they're going to react very strongly. So we need to plan accordingly.